welcome back to the farm. My name is Susie and I'm really glad that you're joining me today. In today's video, I have a big old thrift haul and I've got some junk in haul and I've also got my FabFitFun box in the mail and I haven't opened it yet. I was gonna open it with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm really glad you're here with me watching today. And if you like thrift hauls and upcycling and all that kind of stuff, I would be honored if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I'm going to go ahead and get started here with everything I've got. Um, the one place that I went to, I've only been to one other time, and I don't even think it's been in town very long. It's called Ben Frenzy. And I'm thinking it's where like Amazon returns and stuff like that are gone, sent to. But what happens is they unload the trucks on, I think, Thursdays, and then Fridays, the sales start, and Fridays are $8 day, and then they go down a dollar, you know, until the next Wednesday. Um, the time that I had went before, I went on like $2 day, and there was like nothing but pure old D junk left. So I was not impressed. Well, something made me stop back in there on a Friday, which is the day after like the $8 day. And I did find a couple of really great deals that day. That store is a little bit too much for me. I don't have no video because I wanted to get out of there. There's people everywhere digging down in these deep bins. And it's just, it's not my cup of tea. So... I quickly found these two items and got the heck out of there. Um, but I got these um, 25 foot outdoor lights with the, they've got the, the little bitty bulbs. And um, I plugged them in and they worked and they were $8. So I'm thinking I'll use these in the basement when I set up the little man cave down there just to give it a little ambience and everything. But um, these are like, 25 for 25 foot in the stores and then also you remember my last thrift haul i got a bunch of the small clay pots at the thrift store for next to nothing these are the big clay pots and there was a whole box of them and i got the whole box for eight dollars and there was 12 in it but these are like to the big clay pots They've already got the holes in them, so there is no end to the live plants I could put in these pots. Paint them up, put some transfers on them, put some stamps on them, just so much I can do. And there's eight of them. No, 12 of them. Yeah, six here and six here. And none of them are broken. So, yeah, that was a pretty good deal at the Ben Frenzy. So last week, I went up to my mama's, and my mama and my oldest daughter had been to a thrift store and store, and they had picked up a few things, and then mom had cleaned out a few things, and then, I don't know if I've told y'all the story about my oldest daughter and the house that they live in, was my house before I moved in with Heath. Well, they sold their house. It was all perfect timing. Um, they sold their lake house, and the people who bought it wanted to buy it completely furnished. So, basically, they sold it, everything left in it. They didn't have any furniture. I mean, they had their clothes and, you know, their kitchen utensils and stuff. But, as far as furniture, they had nothing. My phone's falling. So, when they sold their house, it was perfect timing. They moved directly into my house and my furniture. Well, slowly since then, they've been kind of getting their own style going on and kind of getting rid of stuff. And I had stuff stored up there because I moved in with Heath in the smaller house that we sold before we moved here. And I had things just packed away there and uh, they've been keeping those things there. Well, slowly we've been getting everything out of there and I found this thing this week out in the barn over there. And I forgot all about it, but it's this metal and wood wine rack. Everything I have in here is dirty because I haven't washed anything off. And also, back in the day, I used to drink a pretty good bit of wine, as you can see. So, there's all these empty wine bottles. 
And I love the green ones and the blue ones. Look how pretty that is. And I thought I could do something, upcycle all these wine bottles. And of course, corks are always good for something. And then this rack I thought would be good for holding my vinyl when I get my craft room done, if I ever get my craft room done. I am going to give y'all a little update on that because the other half of my hall here is actually down in the basement. So I'll show y'all what's been going on down there. We have been getting some stuff done. So yeah, I got that, which was mine, in the barn. So I can't really count that as a thrift haul, but I wanted to show you guys because I just found it. It's like new to me. Okay, so all of this stuff came from Mama and Allison. So I'm not real positive about everything that's here. So um, this is a big tin. Um, I don't know what Mama had in it, but maybe some floral. I'm sorry, hold on, my kid's hollering for me. We'll probably give this a new paint job a new transfer this actually would be a really good basket for like a really big lavender um thing and i have tons of lavender so i might do that with this this was i think at my house up there um this will be perfect for my office downstairs that i also have to get to work on Okay, before I move on, I'm going to tell y'all a little YouTube story and how I almost quit it this week. I'm still here, so I didn't quit it, but so when I first started YouTube, it was for a couple of different reasons. One, I wanted to share the things that I was working on, and two, um, I set myself a goal to monetize my YouTube. And when I set a goal, I like to reach that goal. And three was to give me more self-confidence. And it has definitely done that. And I set and I reached the goal and I monetized my YouTube, which is great. However, as soon as, I mean, almost the next day after monetizing, I started feeling like it was a job. I don't know why. I have a... a a successful career I do not need another job all along I told my husband if my YouTube makes any money it'll just be our little vacation fund but once it started making money I started thinking of it as, as a job and I got really stressed out and trying to post a couple of times a week and then all of a sudden my YouTube stats just plummeted I mean like went they were up here and then they just went down here and I don't know why and I was trying to figure out the YouTube algorithms and what I'm doing wrong and it just it just really stressed me out and depressed me so I told my husband and my son on two different occasions that I was just gonna quit YouTube and both of them adamantly said no you're not you're not gonna quit YouTube it's good for you you enjoy it you need to just not worry about what it's what it's doing. You know, who's watching? Well, I, I'm really thankful for you guys that are watching. Let me say that. Make sure that I make that clear. I'm very thankful that you are watching. And I love you being here. And I love talking to you and showing you what I'm doing. So, I decided that I'm just, I'm not even going to look at the stats or the revenue. I'm just going to keep being me and keep doing what I'm doing. And if 200 of you guys are watching it, I'm going to do the same thing as I would do if 20,000 people were watching it. So, um, I'm going to keep doing YouTube and I'm going to keep doing my thrift hauls and my thrift flips and my decorating and working on stuff at Mama's Tiny House. All the stuff that I planned on doing, I'm going to keep doing, but I'm going to look at it in a different way and I'm not going to let it stress me out. So... Thank you guys for uh, being here with me and I hope that you'll stick with me and let's get back to this thrift haul. So, this came from Mama's little candelabra thing. I don't know, it's some kind of metal. I really don't know what to do with it. Um, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Something may come to me. I wonder, yeah, that's, I don't know. I might could get this part off and like put some wood up here. I feel like a, 
a thicker wood base would probably look better. We'll see. And this is one of my favorite things. And I don't never seen this in my mom's house before. She may have just got it at a thrift store, but it's a little beady bird cage with a little bird. Now the big problem with this is all of that glitter and how I'm going to get all of that glitter off there. But I think I can do it. So that's a cute, cute little birdhouse, bird cage. Um, I love this little picture and it is handmade for daddy by someone, but I just think it's so cute. The colors, this came from the thrift store, $2.99. I don't know if that was the full price, but it's so cute. And here's a black candlestick. Don't know if that was just at mom's, but I always use candlesticks. And here's another little picture. This was definitely at mom's because I remember telling her that I wanted that one day. And now it's mine. And I don't know what I'll do with it now, but so cute. And another candlestick. This one's a thrift store. It's red, metal. I like that. And this little house, um, it's cute as is, but I've noticed people have been painting them white and then the roof like a different color. So I think I might do that and then maybe put some kind of transfer on the roof. I don't know what that hole's for. It's a good size though. I like the little metal houses. Um, here's another hanging basket, $1.99. I don't know if I picked that up at a thrift store or if that was in with mama's stuff, honestly. But you know how I love my hanging baskets. And this little basket I'm pretty sure came from mom's. It's really cute. And it's full of um, ooh, some old rusty or tarnished silver, tarnished hardware or something. Little baby pieces. Huh. There's some brass handles. And a glass vase. I don't know what those are called that it sits in. Vase stand. But it's got the stars on it. It's cute. I think that'll probably sell in the booth as is. And I think my daughter got this for me. Cute little tray. Metal tray. Sit on a coffee table. Stage a bunch of stuff up on that. No, nothing needed to be done to that. That's cute just like it is. Oh, yes. Look at this giant vase. I don't have my reading glasses, but it is made in China. HFP Macau. I may have to look that up. I would hate to paint that. It is so pretty. And a wreath frame. I've never made a wreath out of these. I think these are the ones that you do with ribbons and stuff. So I'll have to look something up to see what I can do with that. But I'm sure I can come up with something. And um, if you guys watched my um, uh, mantle makeover, uh, mom made these uh, pillow case covers and I stamped one of them with them. There's three more here that she has already made. She's the sewer. I am not a sewer. I could do it and I may eventually one day sit down and take some time and learn to do it properly. I may really enjoy it. I just haven't up to now ever taken the time to know if I enjoy it. Now that's just a, a pillow she had like would go in one. And here 
is a ton more of that fabric. And she got all this at a yard sale, I think, for a couple of bucks. Where is the zipper? There it is. All kinds of But what we thought we would do is um, use this fabric like to line the walls of our booth. There's so much of it, and it's so thick. Really beautiful. Anyway, we thought we would line the walls of our booth with it because they're just like um, the lattice walls, basically. So, yeah, there's a ton of that. And if not, she can always make me a bunch more of those pillows. And these are just some sheer curtains to do something with. And another set of curtains. Oh, those are pretty. Those are very pretty. There was more. I could put them in here. Ah. How pretty those curtains are. Yard sales and thrift stores are the place to look for curtain panels. You never know what people are getting rid of. And this stuff is expensive. Okay, let's see. I got this at the thrift store. I had an idea for it for my logo in my uh, booth. Like, I think I'm gonna put paint this white and put chalkboard here and let my oldest daughter just write Susie on the farm and hang this up so it could be like my logo in my booth instead of having something made for that. I thought that would be cute. Okay, I've got another box over here, and then we're going to go downstairs, because that's really fun stuff down there. Um, these, I, Mom used to have a plate wall, and I think she had these on her wall, because they've got the little hangers. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I'll have to hang them, but maybe somebody will buy them. They're cute. If you had, like, a wall to display plates, these would be great for that. And they're such pretty spring colors, too. If we can get them in there now. I feel like she had a bunch more, but I guess over time, this is all that's left. Because it's been years since she had that plate wall. But. Okay. This is um, yesterday's thrift haul. Um, there's a few items in it i got to make over. Just a, a few little things. Um, and then we're going to open the FabFitFun box. I'm real excited because... I will talk about that in a minute. Okay. So, got this little mail holder thing. Oops, there's a receipt. Let's see what I paid for that. It's marked $2.99, and I'm pretty sure the blue tags were on sale, but I had some loyalty. So, anyway, this was about $2.50 I paid for this. Um, got the little hanger, and it's wooden, so that'll be an easy paint up and flip into something really farmhouse or French country to sell in my booth or keep. Although my house is getting pretty full. I've got to get that booth available so I can get stuff out of my house. There's only so much decorating I can do in here. Oh yeah, I got a... Every time I've been down, I know y'all are looking at my hair. I was been working outside today doing some yard work and oh I pressure washed the porch and then I went and bought some flowers and did some pots and um, then I come in and took a shower and took a nap and my hair still looks like that nap so I'm <laughs> sorry about that um, I'm being really self-conscious about it um, I got an accordion for a dollar ninety nine a wooden one I have one of these hung in the hall going down and it's just a bunch of hats hanging on it. That may exactly be what happens to this one, but we'll see. Maybe not. It's a good size one, though. Okay. Oh. I got a little cheese dome. Um, it was $4.99. I don't ever find these, so I went ahead and picked it up. I don't like the plate. I'll make a wood round for it, but these are a real good thing to have one or two of in your booth. Oh, this, I spent a little bit more for this than I usually would. 
This little bag was $9.99, but it's got three birds in it and all these little eggs and a nest. So I couldn't help myself for the birds alone because I can never find the birds. And let's get these little babies out. So if you take that, I probably paid about three, well, it's the three birds and a nest. It's less than $3 each, so. There's a little bird. The heart side, he's marked $4. I don't know if that was where that was from. And this one's this one's just like that one. The other one in here is oh, it's different. He's got some little feet, and he's a little bit heavier, but a little bit smaller. How cute is that? So I finally got me some little birds, y'all. And these eggs are just perfect. They're the little splattered. Eggs, I think they're just foam, but there's a bunch of them. So, perfect timing. I got this uh, little basket. I really like the weaving on it, and this it's really sturdy. Um, it was only a dollar ninety nine. I thought I might, uh, you know, put a a piece of wood on it that way it could be hung up on the wall. Um, Maybe spray paint it white. Not really sure. But it was cute for $1.99. I can definitely do something with that. Um, found a potato masher with some good patina on the handle. It's a little loose. I need to glue that little thing back on there. But And I might paint the handle. It's got a little bit of rust on the thing. It's it's vintage, I'm pretty sure. It was $2.99. That's always good for staging up. I love kitchen utensils. Now, <laughs> this one here was just like this. This was glued on top of this. Now, it was just $1.99. And I really like the size of this thing. And I'm really hoping that I can get that out. Because I'm sure someone glued it down in there. And then these. They look horrible, don't they? But I feel like they can be washed and maybe reused. I mean, these are good. They're good flowers. They're just really dusty. So I'm going to try to stick them in the sink and hand wash them and see how they turn out and see if I can reuse them. And then there's some Spanish moss there. But this little guy, I cannot wait to paint him up and bring out some of that detail with some white wax and do my own arrangement in it. Be really good. Um, today, um, what did we do today? Oh, I went to, um, I went and got some flowers and some plants to plant today. And there was a yard sale because we're starting to see great signs of spring on the weekends here. So there's always going to be a yard sale or two. And it's so funny. I was watching Secondhand Gym and she had bought three mirrors. And I'm like, I never can find mirrors because I know mirrors are great to have in your booth. But I never can find them. And so this one, that's oh, really dusty was at that yard sale. Heavy, heavy, beveled mirror. Yeah. Very pretty. And just think of what some paint will do to all that detail. It was $5, but I handed her a 20 and she said she didn't have enough change. And I said, well, I only have four ones. And she said, I'll take the four ones. So got this big old heavy frame mirror for four dollars and all it's dust it's really pretty i might keep it we'll see okay i'm gonna rearrange the camera here and show y'all what's in the fab fit fun box and then we're gonna go downstairs thanks for sticking with me okay so first of all i want to tell y'all that i am not sponsored in any way by fab fit fun 
I signed up for this box, subscription box, about a year ago. I think this is my fourth one. So, um, just because I never go shopping for myself. Like, if I need a clothing item, I will go online and buy it, or I'll go in the store and get that item. I don't just go peruse through stores, unless it's a thrift store. <laughs> so, and I just never really much bought anything just for myself. And... I was watching a YouTuber who was sponsored and opened her FabFitFun box and I signed up for it at that time and I just really enjoy it. It's like, it's like a birthday every three months. You can go in and customize your box and pick a few items and then some of them are complete surprises. So I don't even remember what I customized this one with because you customize like a month before you actually get it. So let's go ahead and open up the spring fit fun box and see what's inside you always get these little stickers and 15% off and little magazine oh my goodness yeah I won't be using these because I will never have that much hair but both my daughters, stepdaughters, I'm sure they can all use these. I have a bunch of things from FabFitFun boxes that I just keep in a box for easy gifts. So that will be that. These, yes, I did customize these slippers. I have since bought me some new Crocs to wear around the house, but I'm, my other slippers were in bad shape. Come on now. I done oh they're so soft um let's see what this is this is a lip gel I'm not gonna open that up but that's a lip gel I have a ton of these but you can never have enough lipstick am I right what is this it's heavy <gasps> body butter whipped argan oil. Let's see how it smells. I do use body butter every day, so. Oh, that one smells really good. I wish you guys could smell that. Let's see what this is. <gasps> these are sunglasses. I picked these. I forgot. Oh, yes. I can never hang on to sunglasses. What do you think? It's a Lazy Susan. And it's like a cutting board. How awesome. I actually need one of these. That is, I thrift them and then I don't keep them. that that's pretty that'll be good in the refrigerator for holding condiments or in the cabinets for holding spices awesome so that's my fab fit fun box i got my slippers um hair clips lazy susan sunglasses lipstick Body butter. That's pretty good right there. See, these boxes are always so much fun. Okay, we're going to go downstairs now. Okay, we are almost done here, y'all. I have saved the best for last. And I just wanted to quickly give y'all an overview of where we are on the basement. If you remember, I had a whole bunch stacked to the ceiling here. There was a big shelf here full of junk. We went through all that junk. The whole workbench back there, you probably couldn't even tell there was a pegboard. So we are making some headway. And in that process, I found all this amazing junk. 
And when I seen this stuff, it made me think of Brie over on Upcycle by Brie because I think she would love a lot of this stuff. So real quickly, thank y'all for sticking with me. I'm just gonna show you what I have here and then we'll be done with this haul. Hey y'all, so back again in the basement. I filmed all this last night and got upstairs, realized that my battery on my phone had died halfway through. So I'm gonna try this one more time, finish up the rest of this haul show you guys my junk and stuff that I found down here in the basement. And first of all, before I get started, I wanna show you this coat hanger rack. This was at my office, stuck in a back office, hadn't been used in a long time. The bottom's in good shape, but the top is falling apart. And I'm just gonna take all those screws out and maybe put some hooks in it, paint it up, actually use it as a coat rack. And if not, I've got a big old spindle that I can do a lot of stuff with. So I wanted to show you guys that, that was free. And here's the fun stuff. So all this was, you know, down here at Granny and Grandpappy's and I found this old vintage rotary style phone stuck up under that metal shelf, really dirty. Um, I wish it had been um, the uh, avocado green, but black is good too. This is so cute for staging up little vignettes with vintage finds. So I was happy to find that. And also found this scale. Looks like it's these calibrated a little bit. It's a hanging scale. So I may paint it up and um, put some twine in a basket. It'd be really cute hanging in a kitchen with some fruit in it somewhere. Um, I found this old meat grinder. I don't necessarily think it could be used to grind meat. It looks like it's been painted, but still really cool to stage and dress up. Really good vintage fun. Okay, I found some old rusty cans. These are just little aluminum cans, but inside this one is a bunch of old hardware from some kind of furniture piece, I'm sure. Really nice cleaned up. Anyway, there's some knobs and lots of little hardwares. And this one had a old door hinge, heavy duty door hinge, and a tin full of casters, and yet some more hardware. Oh, this is old hardware. So I'm sure I can do something with all that. Oh, and an old doorknob. the blades are no good. I've seen a few things where people uh, put transfers or paint on here and I thought that'd be really cute to do some kind of saying for the shop to hang up out there or sell just something for dads or grandpas or something but I have two of them. I like this handle. Well both handles are really cool. I think this one can be cleaned up and left wood. Um, this one I'm not sure about. It's got some paint on it. Those are really cool. In the bottom drawer over here in this gondola thing that we have to get to later, I found all these old tractor manuals and different things. Um, this first one my husband said is should be pretty valuable. He said that tractor, there was only like a hundred of them made the 420 Special Utilities. I've tried to look it up and I can't find any of this particular manual, but it's in good shape. It's the original operator's manual. There's several of these for different John Deere things. And just other, just other manuals for different. There's a case tractor. So some of these 
tractors are still here. So I don't know what needs to be kept, but we'll have to go through them and see. Also in with those books, I found this, what to eat and how to prepare it. I don't know if this was Granny's or if it was a school book for one of her children. Copyright 1941, but it's definitely some kind of, um, you know, lesson book because there's questions and there's writing in it, um, maybe where Granny wrote in it. And so, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, we have Pinterest, we have Google, we can look up any recipe. Um, even I can remember when I first got married, when I was 19 years old, we didn't have the internet. I had cookbooks that people gave me when I got married, but you know, this was some, you know, really trying to learn how to prepare food and what to eat. And I just thought that was really cool with the writing in it. It's, uh, it's pretty worn, but it's uh, still really neat. Okay, oh yes, this, look at this. This is a handmade vintage fly flap. I'm pretty sure you couldn't swat a fly with it, but look how cool it looks. Look at the rusty coolness on it. My husband's uh, great-grandfather made this. So that was really neat. This here, I'm assuming it's a bread box. I looked it up, um, found a few online exactly like it. This one's in pretty rough shape. It was housing tons and tons of nails it's got some rust um but you know i think it's still gonna be cleaned up um the lid probably not the greatest but still i'm pretty sure i can clean it up maybe sell it as is as vintage and i found an old cigar box king edward not in great shape but still a little cigar box these are really cool. I found two um, gas caps for cars. This is a Mustang gas cap. And I think I looked this one up as a Maverick gas cap. Our gas caps nowadays are a little bit different, but those are pretty neat. Um, one of my favorite things that I found is this like tool crate. I mean, this is just perfect. It's got all the nail holes in it. Um, really just really nice, sturdy. I just love it. And there's a nail holder in it. Um, this, I don't even know what it is, but I love the color and I love the patina on it. So I can imagine it's set up in some kind of little vignette that'd be so cute i'm sure it's some kind of tractor part or something this one here with the wood handle is a sander you know like a hand sander it's old we have much better sanders but still usable and here's an old scraper really rusty with the wood handle that's so cool um, okay, I think this is a cement uh, spreader thing, but still with the cool wood handle, wood base, really nice. And oh, the, an old rusty rake that can be hung up, might hang some paintbrushes or, or anything you could hang from that. So cool. In a kitchen, a laundry room, um, anywhere. These are some old clippers. They might still work. There's a lot of detail on the handles. I just thought those were really cool. And an old hammer um, handle that's been cut off for some reason for something else, I'm sure, but I thought it was neat. So yeah, a lot of pretty good, great, crusty, rusty, vintage finds here. So that's all that I have. Finally finished this haul upstairs, downstairs, and the FabFit Fun Box. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below which was your favorite find and what would you do with it. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see you next time.